chaos. Or... What's going on, everybody? This is Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur. Apparently, I also go by Gogurt Gaines. But uh, we are here. Uh, it's a Saturday evening, kind of going into the nighttime, uh, playing some Penny's Big Breakaway on the PlayStation 5. Had this game about a month. This will already be my third time streaming it. And this is the kind of game, just a good old-fashioned 3D platformer, the kind of game that I can just... Uh, I can just play. Like, there's not, not a whole lot to it. I think there's like 11 worlds. I think we're on world 5 or 6 at this point. So, uh, I've enjoyed this game to this point. Of course, it's made by the former Sonic Mania team. Apparently, I'm Bobby the Throat Games, which would be a very terrible wrestling nickname. Just a terrible nickname in general. Really not a fan of that one at all. But, uh, I'm a world 6. All right, 6-2. This game has had really good music as well. So, I look forward to hearing more of the music of this game. Seeing more of the style of this game. It, I mean, it's not... Obviously, you know, just because it's made by the Sonic Mania people, it really is not Pokemans, but made by the Sonic Mania people, but it does not, you know, it, it kind of borrows from the Sonic elements, but kind of not as well. Bobby the Bat, I mean, some of these nicknames are just getting worse and worse every time. So anyway, go ahead and let's go 6-2. I don't believe I've done 6-2 yet, and we're going to jump in here. Like I said, it's just kind of what you see is what you get. Loopy Library. See, World's End to me sounds like a last level, but from what I understand, there are, in fact... 11 worlds in this game. We'll, we'll see how far we get tonight. In general, I've just had a joy playing these. Um, why does this... Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Really, it's time to die. And then there's just Bobby the Games, which is actually not the worst one I've heard. Okay, these, like, rocks or whatever have, like, the icons on them, like I'm supposed to, like, almost homing attack them or something. Maybe they're just there to distract me. Is this free? No. You've seen me play this game before. This is uh, Penny's Breakaway. Uh, made by the same team as uh, Sonic Mania, or most of them. It's like a $30 game or something. I don't know. It's a great game. Though. What a game it is. Okay, that's the button. The square button I gotta hit. Did you... Hold on. Did you and John... Yes, yes. We had a good sloppy makeout session. Are my messages popping up? Yes, they they are. Look, I'm reading them. Um, I don't have my chat right now enabled on my stream. That's just a personal choice. But yeah, I'm reading both of your messages, you and Toaster. Uh, apparently, I just picked up a torch. Okay, that's cool. There are occasionally other enemy types besides the penguins. 
Oh, I see. You're supposed to take this and do that. Oh, okay. All right. That's a fun little, a fun little gimmick, isn't it? That's a very Sonic-like gimmick. Mashed potatoes. Is... <laughs> now that we know the messages are working, it's time to get down to business. Yes, I was working earlier today, and uh, not like a super busy day at work, but eh. like anytime I have to work early, it always feels like it's more than more than I'm matching is. Oh, this is like the uh, Kirby gimmick. Wee! Sploosh. Hey, yo, mashed potatoes or mashed... See, I don't like sweet potatoes, so probably just the regular mashed version of them as I get stuck under this tree and will likely suffer a terrible death. And by likely, I mean definitely. And because I suffered a terrible death, I was late to work. And because I was late to work... Yeah, you're right. Over so we're going to go ahead and uh, keep this... Keep this going here. More right now. I'm not sure what Penny is. I don't know if she's some kind of owl or bird. What, like, what character-wise, I have no idea what this character is. I've heard a lot of people say they don't really love this character design. I kind of agree. It's not a very flattering character design. I don't even know what I'm trying to do here, but generally I just kind of go through these levels. It's not even necessarily about finding the fastest way. It's about finding a way. Like, you know, what's a, what's a good way to get through these levels? Uh, okay, let me try to grab this. See up ahead there, we got the... Whee! At least some, like, Sonic-inspired gimmick. Not, not straight, like, Sonic gimmick, but there, there's some movement, some traversal options that definitely give you that vibe. So I'm gonna say, I assume you're supposed to pull that out. Other stuff like that, where it's kind of like, if you played a 3D platform before, you kind of know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna risk it here. That's probably my better judgment. Go for this little hidden item. I don't really know what it gets you, but... I also don't know why those get highlighted with the little homing attack thing. I'm supposed to be able to... Oh, I can hit them! Okay, it just breaks them. Really not much there, although I have a feeling that might return in the potential boss battle. We'll find out, whenever that boss battle is. I literally could not see a damn thing because the camera swung behind a wall there. But anyway, uh, how you doing, Toaster and Rem? I don't know if you guys ended up going out, throwing the old frisbee around, but uh, yeah, it was a nice day today. Still is. Oh, 59 degrees here. Ah, whoa! I did not realize that was my last life. Doing all right and monitored all day. Monitored all day? What did you monitor? Oh, like at work? Ah, so you work too. That's pretty much all I did. <laughs> that work, there was very little work to do. I was just kind of watching stuff. But anyways, we are here right now, hopefully to watch a little Penny's Big Breakaway action live on the Chaos Blur Network. Okay, it's a pretty easy jump. If you don't do what I did and get hit with the boulder. That's a, not a nice boulder. You do not want to get hit with that boulder. Try to, oh, wait, hitting them doesn't... I still take damage from that. I'm taking damage from things. You know what, I'm just gonna go this way. Wow, my combo went from 8 to 16 awfully quick by doing that. Camera time. I mean, I've only run these levels like once each, and like I already can see a lot of the alternate routes I can go on subsequent walkthroughs. Watch out, camera. Yeah, I want that. Oh, 
I don't, like, music in this level is okay. I actually can't hear it a lot of the time. It's just kind of like that weird, like, otherworldly space music where it's just kind of, like, there, but it's not like, you know, it doesn't evoke, like, a mystical feel or whatever. I don't know what I'm trying to say. It, it doesn't really do much for me. Oh, we're already at the end of the level. Oh, I wish I had... I need a candle thing. I don't know if there's one nearby. There really is one right there, but then I gotta figure out a way up here. Somehow I'm getting combos just for standing around like a dumbass. Hey Watch out! I can't see. I'm dead. That, that is a problem, not gonna lie. Like, I've kind of put up with it for the majority of the game, but, like, in these later levels where there's more platforming and it's more, like, you know... I don't know, it's, like, super difficult, but it's, like... Stuff like that, you go behind a wall and you don't see your character for a second. That can be the difference between making a really cool move and just missing it all together and potentially even losing a life. So, it is what it is, I get it, you know. I don't think I have enough momentum to get up there. I mean, it's not worth it, really, <laughs> at this point. Let me just try to get through the level. So, I'm not going to get to the top ring of this. In fact, I think I got to the bottom ring, which does not give me as much good stuff for the busker bonus, but... Still get to do it. Oh, damn, I really don't get to do it. All right, cool. Oh, way to beef on that one. More beef in it right now. <laughs> Scraping by, I got a bonus for that. I'd say a lot of the challenge of this game comes from, I guess, getting the higher scores. Speed reader. I just realized this is supposed to be like a book-themed world. I mean, other than the book platforms, it just seems like a place just floating in the air. Like, it doesn't really seem like, oh yeah, this is the book level. Wow, a person! I don't know why, that was some funny DL DLC, NPC dialogue there. Ooh, a person? Like, in order to pull this out, I have to wait for this thing to move at just the right time. Which I did. Okay, I can't see what's up here, but... Oh, wait, 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 wait! Alright, here we go. There's a warp thing. So yeah, definitely some really cool level designs here. You really don't know what's, hap what's gonna happen next. But when you find out, well, let me tell you right now, it's quite exciting. Wee! Watch out! Oh, I really did just beef it on that one. More pace, big, big race right now. How do I say that? Penny, big, big, Penny's break, Penny's big breakaway. That's not easy to say. Hey, why do you guys get the pizza and all I get is the stinking crust? Deal with that. Where did I put my pen? I don't know. It's probably in that lost place in um, Scarlet Nexus. Light that candle. Wait, wait, what? I'm not gonna make it to the cannon in time, I can already tell that. Wait, no! Oh, I'm not gonna make it anywhere with that attitude. Watch out, watch out! Oh, I'm not gonna make it anywhere with that attitude. God, even when there's small rocks, they can still hurt you. Oh, an ice cream. Oh, ice cream. Oh, boy, my friend's super mad at me. I see. Oh, 
Oh, that was cutting really close. That was cutting it really freaking close. I want more black bean salad. Is it black bean or black beaned? Like you just spelled it like the past tense, like it got beaned by something. There's one violent salad, let me tell you right now. Ah, oh, where's the, uh, I need the candle to light that. It's not even a can- I mean, it is a candle, but it's not like a- it's like a little stick with a little fire on it, which I guess you can think about. Oh, it's literally right there. What the hell? Okay, that enemy was in my way, but then... There are, no, I know there are black beans, but I just never heard it called a black bean salad, like... How do you bean something? Other than this right now, this is just me beefing it and stinking at it. Come on now. Whee! Yahoo! It's a me, not Mario! Oh, you really do not get a lot of height. Oh, how do you... What's up here? I just kind of need that. That life that was up there. Really not me getting it, goddammit. Oh, I did eventually get it. I want to get to that candle there. Watch out! I really am going to be dead again. Good thing I picked up that extra life. Peach tea or mint tea? That's a bizarre one. I guess peach tea would be a little different. I feel like mint tea is pretty, like, average. I'll take that. More, right now. Okay, like, if you go up here more, you notice how Skittles... Skittles pretty good. As far as cats go. Oh, I definitely gotta get up there then. Oh, jeez, don't. No, 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 you don't. Jeez. So many, like, almost deaths in this game. Operator error. Okay, what? Well, stand still. Hit this book. Or don't. I don't care at this point. I'll say, that should take me to that can. Wait, what's the baseball thing? But you know what? Doesn't matter. We'll figure it out later. We'll just get this. Get through this part of the level. This part of the level's been giving me some issues. I think that's fair to say. One of those games where you don't play it a lot, and I mean, I've actually played it a decent amount, and I'm still kind of like, just kind of get used to it again. Like, it's not. It doesn't come to you like supernaturally like some games do. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It just has a very unique style to it. Alright, we reached the checkpoint. Uh-oh. I didn't make it. Let me guess, I gotta go do that again. I kinda figured, just like... Oh, or I can take this, I'm gonna take this. Favorite iced tea brand. Oh, it really just pop, pop me right back here. Wait, couldn't I just like throw? Nah. Favorite. How many are there? Probably brisk. I guess. Never know what these questions are gonna be. When we get them. Oh, look out! Woo! I like again. Just got in there. Yeah. Oh, jeez, no, 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 don't die. Oh, I missed it. I missed one of the diary pages. Forgive me, NPC, for whom I care very little about. It's a shame, too, because I actually got the rest of them. Oh, I knew I was just going to do it for it, because I knew it was going to be that music. 2000 called, they want their sound effects back. I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, the end of the level's, like, right there. I'm at the point now where it's like, how much can I show off and maybe get, like, a higher score on the end part of this? I wanna get up there. I gotta hold this. Oh, oh I was... I'm almost, I mean, I still got it, but I didn't get the gold part. That's alright. Let's pay attention this time. Got it. God damn it again. Better than nothing, I guess. More, right now. 
So yeah, thanks for tuning in, everybody. A little chaos blur action on your uh, Saturday evening. Is it evening? I don't know what time evening starts. It's almost 7 o'clock here on the East Coast. All right, 6-4, World's Edge Space Race. Can't tell if this is going to be a boss or not. There's usually a cutscene before a boss, though. And not every level has, uh, like, four parts. Some of them are, I've seen only have two, some have three. I think four is the most, so there's likely going to be a boss after this. Or, actually, a couple worlds didn't have a boss, so... I'll be honest with you, I would not lose any sleep if this did not have a boss at it, because some of these bosses have been just whatever. Watch out, watch out. Whoa, whoa, I don't know why I did that move. I don't know how I got hit, but I did take a hit there. That spikes. That, I understand how I got hit by it. Okay, there's the, the thing I got to hit with the... Oh, damn it. How much... I'm, like, just going to let that run out. Yeah, because I already failed that. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not going to make that. Oh, wait a minute. That just shoots a bomb out of it. I'm sure that does something more than that, but... There are many secrets in this game, I'm sure of it. And this is one of those games where, for the first time I play through it, and I will say it's a lengthy game. I mean, it's not like, you know, 40 hours or anything, but for a platformer, it's a pretty decent length game, and, you know, I'm not even doing any of the secret missions or any of that. So, like, that's something maybe in the future future playthroughs, I would, you know, gladly do that, based on how much fun I'm having just exploring these levels. There's probably plenty of other routes I haven't seen. Okay, looks like I've got to hit these bombs into the wall. There you go, just that simple. Oh, there's a key, alright, alright, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with having keys and levels. Nice little incentive to explore a little bit. There's a second one. I'm guessing there'll be three altogether if my platforming knowledge is correct. I'm thinking I just died if my common sense knowledge is correct, which it is in this case. That was a death. Was that the beginning of the level? Like, oh, I didn't get a single checkpoint there. Yeah, because I remember doing this nonsense. Be Ouch! All right. I said it before. More nonsense right now. This part was tough, and I'm not really sure what I was supposed to get out of this. And then I, I hit this here, which starts the, the countdown there. And it looks like I'm really smart about it. Yep, I can cheese my way up here. That gets that bomb. Oh, I see. Hit the bomb into that. That gets me a secret item. Okay, I, there had to be some incentive for doing that, because that was not required to progress. And, of course, if I die before I get to the next checkpoint, I probably will end up losing that anyway, so... It's all about how much risk and reward you're willing to go for here in Penny's big old breakaway. More right now. Like, what's something satisfying about just swinging the yo-yo around and just smacking stuff. If I hit that the wrong way, but it, it, if I hit that the right way, it should be this way. There we go. Okay, that's key number two. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, not damn it. Yay! Hey, what's going on, Turtle? Welcome to a little Penny's Big Breakaway here. I do enjoy the, uh, Burger and or King. That hey. classic late 90s nostalgia feel here. Get you going here on your uh, Saturday afternoon, evening, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully you're doing well. Just taking the sights and sounds. Of course, got the uh, magic of my voice here to guide us through a little of this adventure here with Penny's Breakaway, brought to us by the same team that made... Sonic Mania. Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, should have seen that coming. That was a secret anyway, so... The fact that I didn't get it does not completely surprise me, but I'm still not thrilled about it. 
or disappointment, maybe, soon to come. Say, I mean, if my yo yo wants to work anytime now, I'd be happy to have it. He's, ah, I mean, no. <laughs> I appreciate the. It's made by the same team. First of all, it's 3D. No, no, this is not a sequel to one of the greatest games of all time. I mean, let's not go crazy here. It is a good game, it's a fun game. I actually commend them for not just doing a Sonic sequel and they're, they're coming up with their own characters and things. Yeah, it's inspired by platformers of yore, but I feel like it's enough of its own thing that. You know, stand the test of time. I mean, I personally enjoy it a lot. I thought I'd like it, but yeah, like, it's just sometimes just what I need. I don't need a big, involved story type of game. I just want a fun little adventure. I, I thought those spikes would turn off. Apparently, they don't. They just stay on. I do enjoy platformers of yore. Yeah, they're pretty great. Or as they used to call them, platformers. Damn it. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Where's that going? Where's it going? Follow, 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 follow. Yeah, that's going a long way. How far does this go? I can't believe I actually made that. That was kind of cool. So far, this has probably been my favorite level in this sixth world, which honestly has probably been the most underwhelming world so far. Maybe just because I've gotten used to the aesthetics of this game now, and some of the levels are starting to feel a little samey, but this one... I think it's 6-4. This one feels a little different. Got a little more excitement behind it. Got this little baseball gimmick that's whatever, I guess. Got this douchebag in it. I gotta bring some guy a box. I don't know why. There's no explanation to it. I gotta avoid these things. That's gonna blow up. This is kind of an optional side mission, but unfortunately I've already gotten this far, so I gotta continue it. All right, here's your stupid box. Here you go. You say it's empty? That's kind of funny. I'd throw you this empty box. Yep, yeah, I kind of figured that was going to happen, and I was hoping I could out... Oh, the end of the level's right there. This, this felt like a shorter level, but I'm, I'm okay with it. Some of these levels have taken, like, nearly ten minutes to do, so that was more like a five-minute level. I suck at those, but they have to rotate the R stick. I suck at those. I don't know why it's visually represented. It's not on the game. It, it, it's not a motion I'm used to making with my controller. All right. How's your day going, Turtle? Thanks for joining us for a little Penny's Big Breakaway here on this Saturday. Oh, here we go. This is going to be the boss. If there is a boss at this level, there's a cutscene coming up. God knows if I know. Hell, if I know what this means. I don't know what kind of animal or thing Penny's supposed to be. We don't get too many new bodies here in the Cosmic Waste. Oh, is that the name of this level I've been in? The Cosmic Waste? No wonder it looks so weird. Alright, that thing. Can't tell if I'm gonna fight it or... Wait, oh, is that like evil? Is that supposed to be... Yeah, Puppet Penny. That's supposed to be like Metal Sonic, basically, like the evil version of me. Or, or am I fighting the wizard that conjured it? Either way, this is gonna probably be a boss fight here. I just hope it doesn't suck. Because these boss fights have been very hit or miss. I think we're gonna have to fight that. Oh no! They are not! Are they stealing? They are stealing the Sonic vs. Metal Sonic race sequence. Give me a break. That's it. It's a race! This is a race against my duplicate with high energy music playing on a colorful super highway. You tell me what this is referencing. I mean, give it, come on. As soon as I saw that and I saw it was a race, I'm like, okay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take this over a traditional boss, but they knew what they were doing. Especially when they just made Mania. Oh, uh, this part here is gonna cost me something. Am I actually trying to beat them to the end, or am I just trying to get more of those gold things in them? Either way, I think I'm losing. 
Don't get me wrong, compared to some of these bosses, th this is our welcome change, but I mean, the, the parallel to me is so obvious. And I think it'll be obvious to anyone else who's played one, well, it's one Sonic game in particular, or technically two, that involved this gimmick. I'm actually losing big time now. I got ahead of him now. Pretty sure I'm still losing though. I mean, it's a cool level design. What's gonna suck is having to redo all this if I get to the end and have less bolts than them or whatever. What the heck is happening right now? Say, I can't. I can't even survive this. Weird level shapes. I'm losing 24 to 57. So, I mean, I pretty much have to collect every single one of these bolts. At this point, I haven't even really been paying attention to these bolts. Until I realize later it's not about who finishes first. It's basically just who gets more of those bolts. I mean, don't get me wrong, it'd be nice to finish first. Oh, nice of him to leave me a few. I'm losing by 30. I don't know how long this race is. That's the end of the level. I'll, I'm, I might beat them to the end, but I'm not going to... I was going to say, I'm not going to have, have more coins than them, but I'll beat them to the end. Oh, I got to do the whole thing again, of course. All right, now that I know that's the goal... Like, screw, like, how fast I go. Let me just try to get more coins in them. Because I was ahead in coins for the longest time, and then I just kind of started focusing on speed, which meant I was missing the coins. You can't really do both. You can't... I mean, I guess you can, but... Coins sometimes you have to go out of your way for. So right now I'm winning big time, but... We saw how fast that turned around before. You know what, though? I'll say it. I like this boss. Mainly because I don't have to fight anything. I don't have to do some weird, puzzly gimmick. Um, it's just a race. It's a race based on a very familiar Sonic CD boss fight, but... This is where I think I lost some traction, because here's where they're able to get ahead of me. Big time, even. Oh, okay, of course I take damage if I even hit them. Yes, the pro other problem, too, is I'm trying to go fast to stay ahead of them, get more of these coins, and then I'm, that means I'm getting hit with more obstacles than I would be, because I'm not being careful to avoid them. That'll work, though. So right now, I'm killing them, in terms of, like, number of coins. And I don't know how many coins I have to get to do this, but... Hey, what's going on, Randy? Hopefully you've played Sonic CD before, because if you have, this will look super familiar to you. Well, at least somewhat familiar. This is Penny's big breakaway. We were on the boss fight of level 6, which I also just realized. Level 6, if I'm not mistaken, was also Stardust Speedway in both Sonic CD and Sonic Mania. So World 6 here, you fight a version of yourself as I keep dropping off the edge and losing coins. Ah, oh, well, then I, never mind then. This reference will be completely lost on you. Now I gotta watch out. Yep, I'm dead. That's what I had to watch out for. God damn it. Ah, I was killing him in terms of pacing, too. Continue from checkpoint. I didn't realize... No, the checkpoint's just the beginning! Why does it even give me that option? Start from the checkpoint, which is also the beginning of the entire race. Okay. So, add that to the list of things. Do not die. Remember when I said I liked this boss like a few minutes ago? Let's see if that's still the case by the end of it. We'll find out right after this. I just love that they ripped this off. I mean, it's really not like a direct rip off. Most people aren't going to get it. Turtle's here. He was watching the stream a little while ago. Maybe he still is. I don't know. That's a good question, though. We did have Turtle, Rem, and Toaster here at one point. Now we got Randy. So we got a good little crew here. This is funny. Yeah, that's a certain hilarity to it, I suppose. I'm still winning, but not by as much as I was before. Oh, nice, nice. Stay, stay, stay on it. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm ready to roll. Nice, I get it. That's gonna be what we're doing right now. I'm winning in terms of score. And I'm further ahead in the race, although I noticed the bad guy, whoever that is, keeps like poofing them away, or poofing the puppet penny, whatever it's called, closer. So I never really get that far ahead. It's so easy to fall off this thing. Turtle really is here. Fuck, what? Ah. Oh. Great, now I have one life left, but I've got more coins than the other guy. But now I gotta watch out not to hit him, because that also could kill me. They're also starting to catch up a little bit in terms of the coins. Fuck that. Wait, did that not that didn't hurt me? Oh, they're catching up. Oh, I'm getting really stressed out now. I'm not gonna die, but they're, they just took the lead. This is some, I'm gonna die. Once they. Ah, Alright. Alright, alright, At least it's not like Sonic CD where I know the entire race inside and out. I probably will after doing it so many times, but. I don't know where Toaster went, but he'd appreciate some of these references. Hey, oh. You have to both get this thing and then hit the bomb into it. I feel like this always ends up getting rigged so that it ends up being a close race no matter how far ahead you end up getting. It is 27-24 right now. Now they're ahead by four, but I can't get too far ahead of them either because they could knock me out. Oh, you can actually hit them? Okay, that makes it a little more fair at least. Doesn't really do anything overall, but... I got a slight lead right now. Of course, I'm getting more pieces. Okay, somewhere around here is where I usually lose it. Okay, I'm not really worried about catching them right now. I just want to have more coins in them. I think. I don't know. Nice! Got hit on him. Nice shot. Okay, this fight becomes a little more interesting when you realize that you actually can hit him back. You don't have to just, like, run from him. Such a dumb mistake. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm gonna lose some coins, that's alright. Actually, you don't lose any coins to that. Alright. What the hell, dude? Oh, I had this. Really? run here. They're, they have the lead right now. I had no choice. I had to take a hit there. I gotta hurry up. I don't know if there's any coins left. This part gets really insane, too. 
All right. Ah, uh, the end is, like, right there. I'm, like, three short. So unless there are three coins hanging around here, I'm not going to win this. Nope. Too slow. Well, too slow, but I also... So wait, I have to get more coins in and I have to finish first? All right, this is going to be annoying more than anything. It can't be done. I mean, both races, I just kind of made some bad mistakes. But there was one time I beat him to the end, but I didn't have enough coins. That time, I... Actually, I think I lost on both conditions. It just really hurts when you miss, like, a simple jump. Because it not only slows your pace, but it also gives the opponent more coins. I had a big lead, too. I have one now. It doesn't mean much, but I have one. And now I'm up by 20. I do like that you can actually hit him and knock him back a little bit. It, it might make a difference at the end of the game. It might not, but it's still a cool feature. Right now I'm up by 23. Oh, that's not going to help. Watch out for the cannonballs. All right, it's not watching out for them. It's getting hit right in the face with them. Pretty much as hard as you can. Up by 36. I mean, this is the sixth boss, so I, I didn't expect it to be easy. I also feel like the majority of these bosses could have been taken out of the game and would have been fine. Oh, Toaster's here. That's a Toaster. We are racing a doppelganger of ourselves to the end of a level. We have to get there before them to win the fight. Does that sound like anything else that the team from Sonic Mania might have made? I don't know. It just sounds a little familiar to me. All right, fine. Nobody gets this reference but me. Thank you. I don't know if you just did the Sonic Advance thing to be ironic there, or you actually got the reference, but... This entire boss fight is a rip-off of Stardust Speedway, except somehow more frustrating. It actually makes me think I wouldn't mind seeing a 3D version of that race. I know Generations had one, but it wasn't really, like... Full 3D. It looks like I'm gonna win it this time. Hopefully. Still time for me to blow it. Yeah, there you go. There you go. A little Metal Sonic versus Sonic action. So I actually... Oh, this is so annoying. Because I actually have more coins than him, but he's probably gonna finish first. Yeah, this is like the end of the race here. Got it. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter that he finished before me. It was just that I had more coins. Not a terrible concept. I just really wish it didn't go on that long. Just, I wish it wasn't that unfor unforgiving. You outperformed my puppet. Impressive. <laughs> now it's part two of the boss fight. You have to fight this thing. It was all right. And a fellow welder. Oh, no, I said welder. I'm like, hey, welding. Felder wielder of the cosmic string. Why, the stars must be smiling upon us. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. What a curious companion you've created. It's not just anyone can master these threads, even the magical Mr... What? All right. It's like, yes, that. I'm known as the taboo artist, for some reason. More explanation or less, soon to come. I'll give you a front row seat to my celestial show. You're just in time for the 17th act, five-dimensional opera, quantum ballet. No time. It's my masterpiece, perhaps. No audience can say. So what brings you to my wasteland? Has our almighty emperor finally unbent and sent you to offer the apology I deserve? What? I do enjoy describing it with a weird bubble. So far, the music in this cutscene is better than the music in the level. Wait, so that's how it is. I should have known. Eddie never changes. That was always his problem, but it became mine in the end. Before his solo act as Emperor, we used to perform together, you know. Our notorious, legendary, anarchic, immortal... He's using a lot of weird words here. Wonderful double-act show. Oh, flashback. Every show, Eddie played the lead, and I didn't get to read that because it pooped away too fast. 
I directed everything else. That's kind of like being a blockbuster when I played all the roles. The World's Strongest Man, starring in the World's Strongest Theater. Strangest Theater. Never the same show twice. Alright. Looks like a Scott Pilgrim flashback. We packed the rafters. We traveled the continents. But he got tired of my tireless experiments. This is a lot more story than I needed for this. I'm just glad I beat the boss. And I got tired of him being tired. Hey, yo! Got a lot of tiresomeness going on here. I traded stage life for Starlight Steep Speedway, but the silence is stretch. Visitors like you are a rare treat. Little artist, I will grant you a favor. Bust it to pieces. That's right, Plot Bust it too. Bust it to pieces. Anything within my power, which is considerable. You could even stay here with me. Hey, yo. Empty sands and isolation free you to focus on your craft. Yeah, but I still got like another five worlds of the game to play. I can teach you to swing from the stars, if you're into that kind of thing. From one enemy of Eddie to another, what do you say? Kenny's like, hell yeah. But I still have five more worlds of the game to play. Really funny if she said that. Actually, I don't think the character even talks. I get it, you need to go home, but Eddie's land isn't home for you anymore. Plus, we still got five more worlds of the game to play. I cannot emphasize this enough. Oh, you're in the Book of Law. Okay. Well, in that case, why not rewrite history? Yeah, well, we can put it like that. The Book of Law is absolute. As it is written, so it must be. Do you understand, little artist? With the rip of a page, you can reshape your fate. Look how this plot line just came out of nowhere. I mean, yes, I noticed that there were books in this level, but I didn't think they meant anything. The twin to this teleporter is hidden inside the Lawberry Courthouse. I don't know if that's supposed to be a really bad pun or what, but I just don't get it. Sneak inside and get that Book of Law. That old fuddy-duddy Judge Rufus won't have to faint. I actually do remember Judge Rufus from earlier in the game, and I thought I was going to have to fight him, and then it just went to the next level. What fun. Little artist, I expect to see your name and lights over the gala stage someday. A sparkling future lies before you. Now go and seize it. Well, it doesn't get any more concrete than that. Pangoville! I'll be honest with you, that was not what I expected the next level to be called. But let's go to Pangoville. World 7. With a cutscene, of course. Well, that's right, the penguins are the bad guys, actually, so we shouldn't want the penguins. The penguins are usually the ones chasing you and stuff. They can be quite aggressive. Good luck, little artist. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Yeah, my thoughts exactly, Penny. This music sounds pretty flippin'. Flippin' slide, all right. I do enjoy this game, by the way. I guess that wasn't clear from all the times I said I do enjoy this game, by the way. Ooh, penguins. Ooh, ice. Wow, I like this kind of electro swing we got going on here. You're looking at an old-timey candy store, almost like a lolly indoor pops. I do enjoy lolly indoor pops. I don't enjoy this wheel of penguins chasing me. I don't enjoy that one either. Hey, oh, they just smacked into each other. Oh, yeah. Oh, this level's awesome. So far. All right, so far we got some pretty happening music. I like the aesthetics. It's an ice level, but some of the other levels have had ice as well. I don't know if that... I think I'm supposed to go this way. Find out which way I'm supposed to go whenever the game decides to tell me. More after this. I get it. This thing is sending like... <clears throat> yeah, they call this Penguinville. You really are going to be dealing with a lot of penguins in this level. In this world as a whole by extension. Oh, that's not good. Keep spinning them off you, I guess. See how the rest goes. Eventually. Watch out. Watch out. There we go. Nope. Do it better. Okay, that's also not great. Ready? Hard to get a running start, and then I got these penguins, like, on my butt.
Got it. Checkpoint. Watch out! I guess I'm taking you guys with me. Whee! Yahoo! Uh oh. A Yahoo too soon there. It's not Yahoo in time. Yo, Shea Goodbye's famous Shea Butter. Weird thing is, you actually spent time thinking of that. Alright, there you go. Good job, Shea Goodbye's Shea Butter. Why? From Shea Stadium. I was gonna say, I had a feeling that water was like instant death. I was not looking forward to falling in that water, and it did not disappoint with how frustrating it was. If I can get up here, I really cannot. My biggest fan? That's actually a legitimate question because for a while it was easily Shake It By. I mean, I guess currently it's Turtle P. Okay, it's one of those things where the, the role could change over time. But I mean, I also don't really rank my fans, especially since I only have maybe two of them that aren't like people I know in real life. Well, don't forget the Maltor guys. So I feel like in order to count as a fan, it's got to be somebody that, like I don't know personally that like only knows me through the videos. So, like, you know, not to, like, invalidate anybody's friendship or fandom or anything, but I feel like, you know, like, people I consider, like, just YouTube fans would have to be Shea Goodbye, Polluted Turtle, and then, like, there actually are a few others, but I would say Polluted Turtle, you know, Shea Goodbye, and, you know, the Maltor guys were actual people that I met, not to say the other people aren't real people, but... You know what I'm saying? Like, people who were actually, like, interested enough in my content that they not only watched it, but, like, made a parody of it. Like, that's pretty cool. Oh, I love them all. I really do. But, like, yeah. The idea that there were actual people, like, none of that was scripted. They legitimately were that into the mall tour that in, you know, the 2018 season, I brought them in for a couple mall tours, and then they're just, like... Yeah, that was awesome. They are also, like, the only two people on the planet to have a Maltor 2018 shirt with the stops on it, because, funny enough, I don't even have one. I didn't make myself one. Uh, okay, where do I go here? Get it. That was pretty cool. I don't just mean that because it's all icy and whatnot. Legends of the Tour. Yeah, you know, you look back at some of this stuff, like... Them, uh, my friend Michael, who played Michael Jackson, like, there's some, like, very unique mall tours. Like, a lot of them, you know, kind of follow the same formula, but there were those, you know, more unique ones like that. So, is John in a better mood now? I don't know, was he ever in a bad mood? I mean, other than his usual mood? He seemed fine to me. He talked to me a little bit today. He actually asked me to hang out, but I just, I was just too tired. Like, he literally asked me to hang out, like, ten minutes before I was going to go streaming, and I'm like, eh, it's not just, it's not just that I was streaming. It's like, I just got home from work, and, like, I didn't really, like, have any intentions to go out again. That's kind of why I went out last night. Like, I usually only have one or two nights a week to go out in me, and I already kind of used it. So, nothing against John. I just was not really feeling it tonight. I don't know. Yeah, you seem to like saying that. All right, what are you gonna do? Stop the stupid bird for two seconds. All right, what, like pull this or something. There we go. I was the one in the bad mood about John. John was in a fine mood, I assume, as far as John goes. What the hell? What did I just fall through? Did anybody see me fall through anything? Or did something hit me? I have no idea what just took my last hit point. But okay. That's a thing, I guess. This is why I don't get very good scores in any of these levels, because I always have to do a restart at some point. Time you get back. Oh, last night? Uh, like 9.30ish or so. No, last night was great. It was basically what I wanted it to be. It was just a <clears throat> nice outing to the mall, to the Buckland Hills Mall, and Red Robin after. And I wasn't out super late, so I got some sleep, and I woke up today, and like I said, I, I might have gone out today if I knew, like, what people's plans were. I know you invited me out, but I was still at work then. 
And John, like I said, like messaged me at like six o'clock to go out. I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm like already like kind of done for the day, like other than to stream and like maybe watch a movie or something. Like, I gotta figure out what the hell killed me here. Unless you just can't go on that snow or you die. The only explanation. Oh, that would be kind of funny, actually. You got. Ah! I mean, I'm actually not as picky as some people would have you believe. Like, people are like, oh, you know, Bobby only likes to go to malls. It's like, no, I like going to malls, but, like, I like doing a lot of other stuff, too. It's just. I don't know. I mean, uh, yeah, I had Red Robin last night. Yum. Okay, if these things ever let go of me, I could actually pull this wall open. Uh, Alright, I'm just gonna jump over the wall. I didn't even realize I could do that, but I'm just gonna do that. So, joke's on you, penguins. Spent so much time trying to get these penguins off me, I end up, like, not... Doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, this is a pretty cool little set piece here. That was a fun little moment, wasn't it? Oh, okay, time to die. Told you. Told you it's time to die. Uh oh. Nice dodging. I should let you borrow my game. Oh, is that? Oh, no, that's not that. I keep thinking that's a horror game. Why would I? I know what that. I think I know what that game is. Is it really that good? Or do you just want me to play it to have, like, some weird reaction to it? Because it's like this really weird game or something. There's got to be some reason you want me to stream that game specifically. It can't be because it's like this super amazing game. Oh, nice shot. Great game. I do enjoy great games. But there's usually more to it than that. There's usually like some reaction or something you want me to have. Where it's like, oh, let's see what Chaos does when he sees this scene. And then I see it and I'm like, holy shit, what was that? No, I don't think it's no, I don't think it's horror. And if it's a game I'm thinking of, the cover makes me think it's horror because it's kind of like a creepy girl, like I don't know. It just looks like kind of a creepy game, but I mean, I don't know. Pangaville, winging it. Ooh, ice caps. <clears throat> Never seen that in a Sonic game. Hey yo, nah, it's a phenomenal. All right, fine. I mean, a game can be a phenomenal game and also have kind of a creepy vibe to it. Doesn't have to be one or the other. It could even have a good story. I just don't know where that came from. Like, just like a random mention of Catherine. You know a game I want to play that's also not a horror game, but like, it's just kind of a more random game is Lollipop Chainsaw. I don't know why. It looks like such a stupid game. I hear they're like remaking it though, so I keep waiting for the remake, but I don't know when that's happening. It's not a hard game to find. I get a game exchange for like 10 bucks. Penguins. Everything in this level is just made of penguins. God damn it. I don't have enough momentum. Oh, oh hold on. We're alive, barely. I don't know what I'm trying to, like, do here. Red Robin, yum. Well, I was gonna say, I really had nowhere to go there. I was kind of crap. I do enjoy Cat. Do you really? I know of the game. Like, I'm not gonna, like... It's not one of those where you say it and I'm like, what the hell's that? Like, no, I know the game. Doesn't mean I want to play it, but I know of it. Well, you know, the last year or two, I've tried to stream different things, you know, whether it's stuff I would actually play or not. Just kind of mix it up a little bit. Because, I mean, this, let's face it, this game is like, um, the most Bobby game there could be, really. It's like Anime Cubert. What the hell is that up to do with anything? 
clam chowder. Anime Cuber. I just don't get... Anime I get, because it is like an anime-ish style, but like... Cuber? The old arcade game? Okay, well, I just have to see that to believe it. Clam chowder. Rem does love her food. More food. Maybe I forgot. God damn it again. Similar. All right, fine. Parmesan couscous. All right. This part I keep messing up. What the hell is that thing? I don't remember what that is. What? That's a death? Running into the waterfall is a death? All right. Oh, that was seems fair to me. I really did not. I want to try this ramp here. Or not. Oh, I really disgusting. Yeah, I even read that out of the corner of my eye. I really wish I hadn't, but too late now. Can't go back. And unread that. As much as I want to, I cannot. Oh, ah! Oh. Battered fried green beans. Alright, well, that's better than what Toaster said. Holy shit, that's disgusting. Enemies. Right, that's gotta stop happening. Now, what is this thing? Oh, it's just the whirly thing? It really, okay, it, it took me a second because that power up has only appeared like one other time. Or not? Ice. I don't want to go on where that net is. There's penguins right there waiting to capture me. Alright, finally a checkpoint. Whee! Oh yeah, this isn't like Tails at all. It's exactly like Tails. Actually, it's a little easier to control. Whoa! Watch out. They really do go crazy with the penguins here. Watch out again. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. God damn it again! It's almost always like instant kill because if you get caught in those nets, you don't have time to break free from the penguins. Well, what about the penguins? Yeah, they like kill you in this game, so they're not, they're not adorable. It'd be great if they weren't killing you. Sure, I'd be loving that, but no, they kill you. This part here, there was like one part where I really couldn't. What the hell? Ah, oh, god damn it. One part here, I couldn't tell what I was supposed to do, because the only thing that was there was one of those nets, and I'm like, I can't hit the net, or I get trapped. It's basically like an instant kill. Still nothing will be as bad as the freaking spider webs from that, um, that one fight in Sonic Superstars with Knack the Weasel. The robot that caught you in the freaking electric webs, or it was like an instant kill. It was so bad. I'll take this any day. Find that. 
Yeah, right here. It's like, how am I supposed to get over that? Got it. She wasn't that hard to get over. <laughs> I really overthought that one. Okay, this could be a problem. Got it. Got it. Bobby Rice Krispie Treat. I mean, I do enjoy Rice Krispie Treats. Alright, this part's tricky because of all the ice. If I can make this jump here, I get a checkpoint. I got it. Alright, apparently I'm that. It's bizarre, but there you go. Watch out! Ouch! Penguins. Got it. Ooh, blue the turtle. Good to see you're here, rooting me on. Ah, oh, watch out. Watch out again. Watch out again. God damn it. A lot of penguins here. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was just kind of nice. Here we go. Ooh, Jesse. Mind if I might. Very hard to get any momentum going with this. There we go. Oh, there we go. The end of the level. Let's see if I can land on top of the gold part. There's also a secret item. I don't know how well I can find my landing. Got it. Got it. Wait, how did I mess that up? That's where I hit now, nah, whatever. It doesn't really matter then. Not my worst attempt. Not my best attempt. See more right after this. Throwing those penguins at you, don't they? Whee! Watch out. Oh, oh! Took me out of the air. All right. Don't play like that. Oh, that's a lot of penguins. That's got to stop happening, like, immediately. Right, there's a checkpoint over there. And a rolling wheel of penguins just fell into the ice water. Okay, this is going to be a tricky one. Oh, hello. I actually never know what is the right way to go. I kind of like. It's just like, wherever I see, like, a way to go, I just kind of go that way. It's just like Fleetwood Mac, you know? You can go your own way. Cold Stone. I do enjoy Cold Stone pretty much at a time. Like, it's not, like, one of my favorites, but once in a while, I don't mind me some of that. Out of the Mall of America, actually.
somehow I lost my combo and I don't know how. Ah, oh, the chili pepper. I do remember this gimmick. I'm gonna say, I can't really tell where I'm supposed to be going there, so that, that's an L on me. Man, it looks like you, you just go, like, straight up the waterfall, right? Am I supposed to go this way? Nope, I, the game is not very clear in the directions here. I'm gonna guess you, have, you use the speed thing to go straight up the waterfall, so let's find out right now. No, you don't. So I, I have no idea. More after this. Okay, I think I see like the little ridges there, maybe. Okay, I think I see it. I'll see if I'm right. There we go. I don't know why the hell it just didn't count anyway, but whatever. What? What? All right. Why not? I'm just gonna go this way. Now I know I'm nowhere near whatever failed there. This looks like it's gonna collapse. It sure does. Oh boy. Okay, that time I saw how I died. All right, this is a little tricky. <laughs> no matter. I'll get her going. More right now. Alright, weird baseball glove thing. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah. Am I supposed to make that jump all the way over there? I guess I can. Grab it. Alright. I can correct me as possible. Was I like already here? I really was already here. Uh, which way am I supposed to go then? It's going that way was like the secret way or whatever. Back here, it just goes the same. Where am I supposed to go? That goes down the waterfall, which I don't think I want to go that way again. That's a collapsing path. This way? This way. I don't know. I feel like I'm in a part of the level I'm not even supposed to be in. Yeah, I just died. Like I, I'm not supposed to backtrack there. I'm supposed to go up the waterfall. I got that part. Is there some part, like, higher? Like, am I supposed to go, like... I can't really control the camera. If you go forward here... You go there, but this is like a secret route. This is not part of the main level. I just did not give a crap there. I already kind of knew I was done in. I have another idea. That's not the idea. Oh, never mind. I thought maybe I could go like under there and there was like something. Well, like anything in here? This is where you come out if you take the secret exit or whatever. That's a collapsing path. Oh, there might be something under it, though. Hold on. Okay, see, this would not be... I would never have thought to come down here on my own. Because I figured that was like a... Okay. Whatever. You found it. Directly below the main path. Oh, this is that golf ball gimmick or whatever. 
more golf ball gimmick after that. Watch out. Ouch. Oh, end of the level. Got it. Wasn't pretty, but I got it. What the? It took me like two seconds to do it. Not even. Find how he do. I'm gonna say there's gotta be a boss coming up. Oh no, it's not that sea captain I fought her. It really is. Please don't have to fight the sea captain again. What's up, that you? There's only like four characters in this game. Of course, it's me. <laughs> He's like, I didn't look at me. I didn't do it. And now I'm heading to Industria. Want to ride out of here? I mean, I'll take a ride to Industria. But... Saddle up, crew. We're shipping out. Now, oh, please tell me that I'm gonna avoid a boss battle here. Red Robin, we got the meats. I mean, that's Arby's, but I'll take it. I would not mind not having to do a boss battle. Ah, oh, thank God. All right, level eight, world eight, rather. Plus, I like the name Industria. Oh, yeah! Oh, this level's happening. Look at this. Hell, yeah. Love the music. Love the aesthetic. Oh, let's go. Conveyor belts. Oh, thank you very much. All right. This might be my favorite level in the game so far. It really might be. Exactly, Toaster. I'm happy to. Exactly. I'm so happy I could dance. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Level really is the best level so far. Ooh, a bunch of those dancing things. And they're actually not the dancing things you usually use. Oh, yeah! Ooh, that thing. Wow, look at this level. Ooh, those laughing things that uh, Zero and Shad's always use. Usually when they're laughing at me. Quite often. I'm gonna say, that was gonna kill me. Ooh, a combination of things. I don't even care that I just died there. This level still rocks. Oh, shoot. There's so many pathways to go here, too. Wait, what? I was going to say. That's a little screwy. Hold on. Nice! Wow, what a level. Let's see what these do. Oh, nothing, really. Cool. I thought the light bulbs were going to, like, light something up or something. I don't know. One up there. Oh, do they turn off the electrical field, maybe? They really do. All right, fine. They're not completely useless. Even though I could have just gone over the electrical field by doing that. Oh, I see a Maltor logo. I actually see quite a few Maltor logos. Oh, 
God damn, I was gonna say, they were all over me. I had no chance there. So it looks like we got Maltor logos and some Dancing Gohans. That's, that's my uh, assessment of that. Other than that, just the normal day in the office and the life of Jimmy Nutron. Grab that, grab that! Well, he's not me, really me dropping my desk. Something I'll be doing quite commonly in this game. Got it. Didn't get it. I mean, I got it, but it was kind of awkward. Kind of awkward. Hey, yo. I see up there we got the screw. Some people say I've got a bit of a screw loose. Hey, yo. Watch out, enemies. Oh, wow. That was shocking. Damn. Wow. I do still enjoy this level, though. I don't enjoy falling to my death, though. That is the very opposite of that. Ah, ooh, exactly. Ah, ooh, indeed. Yes. Oh, nice. I wasn't sure I'd be able to make that all the way up, but I did. Ouch! All right, I got the hammer. Penguins. this level. It reminds me of, like, the future levels from, uh, Crash Bandicoot, like, Future Frenzy and stuff like that. But, I mean, yeah, this aesthetic, the music, it's just, it's all working for me. Watch out, penguins. Oh, they are agitated, too. That ring reminds me of Sonic Heroes. Oh, here we go. We got electricity all around here. I'm trying to hit that light bulb real quick if I can. Or I can just take that. That ice cream real quick. Watch out! Ouch! Shoot, I need a magnet. I need a magnet. Magnet on that side. I got it, I got it. Let's go. Oh, the music's getting faster. Oh, I was gonna say, I haven't seen this gimmick in a while. Watch out, more enemies. Ooh, they smashed through that. That's all right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Exactly. We got it. Checkpoint. Much needed. Oh, this looks like it's going to be tougher than Mofo. Whatever that is, it's got that. Wait, what? What? That's not me using the gimmick to its advantage. It's me using the gimmick at all. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Yahoo!
Nice. This level is amazing. I love this level. This is just what I needed. Classic 3D platforming action live with Chaos Blur. That was the lowest possible ring, but then again, I fail all these anyways. Who cares? I really suck at those. Just like suck at those pizza. That was fun. That was really fun. Demolition Derby, and I, I love the music. Like, they added a little bit of extra oomph to this Act 2 theme. I watched Sucker Sauce Pizza Mall. It actually was a memorable mall tour for a number of reasons, not just the Sucker Sauce Pizza part. Yeah, and I, that was a fun one. I mean, that, that mall itself is not, like, one of my favorites, even though I've toured it, like, three separate times. Ouch. Oh, yeah. Penguins. I wonder the penguins look like moving bowling pins. Okay. Yeah, that was, I was going to say, that was the more memorable part. Like, not only do we have the lousy pizza, we also had the, uh... Ouch! Right here, hit the light bulb first. There we go, now I can use that. I think my favorite part of that whole reaction was after we got kicked out, Angela's even like, what just happened? Like, like, it didn't feel like, like, wow, we really got busted on that one. Like, we didn't, we're, we're still kind of just like, what just happened? Oh, this is not going to end happily. So I got to make sure not to hit those things or I'm going to collapse everything around me. He really was. He's just like walking this out of the mall and just like... Like, yeah, gee, I really feel good about myself now, like... Just the way he ends goes, what the hell even just happened? Ouch! Watch out! Checkpoint's over there. Let's try and get it. Got it. See what I'm trying to do here. That's not what I'm trying to do. Now, you know, Maltor 2017, which is the season that Maltor was from, it's probably like one of my favorite Maltor seasons. There were a lot of memorable Maltors on that one. It's also the um, the longest mall tour season, even still, with 14 mall tours in one year. Don't know why I went this way. This is like the secret challenge level. Ouch. 
God damn it again. Two hits for the price of one. Actually, ha demolition expert. Oh, I think I do have to do that. Hold on. Fuck, 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 get it! Ah. Seems really hard to line up that shot. Nope. Nope. All right. That's the, I don't really need to go that way. But that's the. Nice dodge. Ooh, a fan. Ooh, a battery. Whee! Oh boy. Checkpoint very much needed. Oh! It's like on one hand I got it, but at what cost? My life. Hey, yo, I remember the mall cop. Oh, hold on, I don't need to read that story because I mean, I was there for it, but. I actually don't, I remember we talked to him for like a really long time because he had to walk us like all the way from one side of the mall to the other. So it's like the most awkward thing ever. Like it's not like just, oh, here's the door, leave. It was like, let's walk through the entire mall with like everyone staring at us. It, was, it just it went on way too long. It was like, you know, we could have just left. Like you didn't have to walk us all the way out of here. Like we're not going to do anything. We didn't start, like we stole anything. Like it was nothing to really like... Like, we're not like a threat to anybody, but whatever. I remember the mall cop talking about wanting someone to... Ah, uh, yeah, I think I remember that too, actually. Like, yeah, hey, you know, one of these days, someone's gonna get theirs or whatever. And I'm just like, yeah, that's someone's us, apparently. I'm almost sad this level's over. This is a really good level. That place was weird, and funny enough, when John Lee and I went back in 2021, we didn't get kicked out, but we did have another mall cop, like, talk to us. It's really funny, you know, like, that place is, like, so strictly policed for a mall that's, like, one of the least busy malls in our state. Like, you'd think they'd be happy that anybody was even in their mall, and that's not a very busy mall. Oh, Laura Mall? Oh, that's gonna be a boss fight. I'm actually sad there's not more levels. That was, uh, Meriden Mall. I don't... They've changed names so many times now. Okay, this is bizarre. It's like, start of the boss fight. Okay, I'm trying to think of what the point of this is. I think I know. Okay, well, don't get hit by that. That's one of the points. Okay, magnet, magnet, magnet. What the fuck is the point of this? Okay. For some reason, I was overthinking that. Let's 
This looks like a Mario boss. Probably shouldn't hit those things. How the heck? I was gonna say, I avoided that like the first two times by luck. Now, nah, I haven't heard from Angela in a while. I don't think she even like responded to my birthday dash. Like, God damn it. Like, like I don't think she said that she was coming. I mean, obviously she didn't show up, but like, I don't think she even like responded to the invite. Look at this boss just showed up out of nowhere. What the hell? That was a completely different attack. Hold on. What the f I really don't like this boss right now. Man, there's a lot of friends I just don't hear from anymore, like... Like, if I got in touch with Kurt, like, for an example, he would talk to me. Like, there are people that still talk to me, I just don't really make the effort either. So on one hand, I can't really get mad at them for not making the effort, but I don't make the effort. Oh shit, what the hell?! I'm probably gonna loop, get hit before I have a chance there. God, what the heck with that attack? Oh, Alright, well, here we go again. I just don't like the bosses in this game. I mean, a couple of them are okay. And this one it seems like it'd be easy enough to figure out, but it's like, its attack pattern varies so much. Some of the attacks are easy to avoid, some of them not so much. You gotta wait for those magnets to fall. No way to avoid that clappy attack, even though I avoided it once, it just felt like an accident. Yeah, that time I avoided it, I don't know how. Wait a minute. Uh, I thought maybe that turned off the, uh... Electromagnetic field or whatever. That attack is so annoying. This sucks. Like, seriously, like, what am I supposed to do half the time here? I actually avoided it that time. Problem is, like, I avoid it, but. God damn it. I'm to a point where I hate making the effort, it's always on me. Well, at least you have people who, like, just randomly come over to your house, though. Which I know you don't really particularly enjoy, but, like, you don't have to make any effort for that. They just show up. Nobody ever comes over to my house, like, other than for my birthday. Like, I'm not saying they have to, but, like, I basically would never see anybody except for the holidays. And, like, the occasional outing here and there. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. Like, some people really don't have that. Let's count that time that you you and uh, Rem stopped by my stream for no reason on the way to Game Exchange. God damn it. Okay, I got two. I assume the boss only takes three hits. I don't know. Though. But I still have two health points left. Oh, one health point left. I'm still here. Oh, I never said you weren't here. Fuck! Oh, I knew as soon as he did that. I knew as soon as he did that, I was going to get hit by that. God damn, I hate this boss. That's what I mean about some of these bosses just not being that creative. It's not that it's like... I don't know, it's not, nothing unprecedented. It reminds me of a Mario Galaxy boss, but like, Mario Galaxy bosses were actually a little bit better. That attack is so obnoxious.
That attack is obnoxious, even though I avoided it. There's no rhyme or reason to when I avoid it and when I don't. Shame, too, because I actually really like this world, but... Oh, I fucking hate that attack. Yep, that attack again. I only have one health left. <laughs> Whatever. I go we're both just cells. I like, you're not gonna do anything, I'm not gonna do anything. Alright, feet noises. Fart noises. Oh, fuck that! Stupid autocorrect. That's alright, I often get the word fart with these feet. Alright, so you can basically avoid that one just by going really fast. That, that one is borderline unavoidable. It really is to the dump, to the dump, to the dump, dump, dump. It's all right. Got it. It takes more than three hits, though, doesn't it? No, that's it. I was going to say, I was like waiting for like another phase for some reason. I'm like, that can't be it. No, that was it. Even Penny's like, what? No, oh, shit. All that just to fail. So we beat the boss, but at what cost? Wallberry. Alright, well, that is gonna do it for me, but uh, I enjoyed uh, most of that stream. I didn't enjoy that boss, but I enjoyed getting to see Industria. It's a shame that was only a two part world, because it was actually a lot of fun. But uh, also, what was also a lot of fun was hanging out with all of you tonight for some uh, Chaos Blur, uh, Penny's Big Breakaway action. Uh, we got uh, a lot of great streams coming up. A couple more weeks till Easter, so of course there'll be an Easter stream, but that's a whole other story. But uh, I appreciate everybody watching tonight. Once again, this has been Bobby Gaines, otherwise known as Chaos Blur, with Penny's Big Breakaway, the indie platformer from the Sonic Mania team. Takes a little getting used to, but I do recommend it if you like fun 3D platformers. Bosses are a little iffy, I will admit. But anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody. We're signing off. As always, stay chaotic. We're out. Yeah.